This is a wire leader, and as you can tell guys, by using a wire leader, you have to be going for some pretty toothy fish. And actually, during the fall seasons when the weather starts to get colder, northern pike begin to bite and be a lot more aggressive. And since in the last video, I experienced a few bites from the northern pike that ended up breaking me off. Oh, there's bite. Oh, I just broke my line. Oh, something. Oh, he bit it. Oh yeah, I saw him, that pike. No, no. I decided today that I'm gonna get my revenge, use a wire leader so I don't break off, and maybe catch a trophy pike. You guys, just stay tuned. Okay guys, I forgot to bring an SD card for this camera like I do literally like probably 30% of the time I forget an SD card, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm here at Dick's, gonna buy some wire leader because these pike keep breaking me off. Yo guys, this is not a sponsored message at all, but I'm just putting you on something. If you want cheap lures, get jawbone hard baits, like the hard baits for jawbone, the cheapest lures you can find, like four bucks for a spinner bait. That's just, that's absurd. So I always get jawbone because they're a lot cheaper, so that's what we like. Because I am balling on a budget here. Although, Jawbone, if you do want to sponsor me, you can hit me up. I got my email down below. That's what we like to see. We're going to cop some of these just so these pike don't break off my brand new spinnerbait that I'm buying. Because I don't want to lose another spinnerbait. Catch you guys at the lake now. All right, guys. Made it out on the water right here. And I got my wire leader with the spinnerbait. And hopefully, I can actually hook and land a pike this time without it breaking my line. Watch me today, guys. I'm not going to hook a single pike. I'm literally just going to get like all bass that's that's what's gonna happen i just know it <laughs> oh yeah guys and i think i also fixed fixed my nets i duct tape both sides i don't know how well it's gonna hold up but you know as of right now i have a working net also so i'm fully prepared to catch a pike today because i get oh there's mike there's there's fish got him yes sir oh he's running in me right now i don't know if it's a bass or a pike but it doesn't feel like a pike but he's fighting though oh yeah that's Little largey right there. Of course, I catch a largey with a wire leader and not a pike, but he's fighting hard. He's not even that big though, guys. I'm not gonna lie, but he is just digging. Come here, mate. I mean, I'll take anything right now because I just want to catch fish. Oh, he's barely hooked, but get him here. See, I can just grab that line because this is a 45 pound wire leader. So I doubt this little dude will do any damage. Oh, he caught on the stinger hook. That's why you got to use a stinger hook right there because I wouldn't have caught that fish if it wasn't for that stinger hook. All right, guys, first fish of the day, he got this like one pound bass right here. And of course, the day I have 30 pound braid connected to a 45 pound wire leader, I catch little bass. And the last time when I had 10 pound fluoro, I caught a bunch of pike that broke my line. So that's just how it goes. Hopefully I catch a pike later, but thanks for biting little dude and see you later. It is freezing. All right, so we're rolling with the iPhone quality here. Sorry, Joey forgot the camera, but still first bass of the day. It's been like, I'd say like 20 minutes at most. I saw a, like a huge pike. They probably, the, if you guys watched the last video, by the way, if you haven't, go check it out. But it was probably about the same size as Joey's pike that like bit on it last time, but he just like missed, because I don't know why, he's just dumb. But here's the first bass, pretty nice one actually, so. Well, now we're gonna say goodbye and get Good some start more. to the day. There's a bit, oh, yep, there's a fish. That's That feels like a bigger fish. Oh, that's a big smallie. That's a big smallie. Jeez, dude, what? That's a big smallie, guys. Oh my gosh. That's a big smallie. Oh my goodness, that's a big fish. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, that's a big smallie, dude. What the heck? That's probably like close to four pounds, I'm not gonna lie. I am using the net if you get. Ah! Come here. Oh no. Oh my gosh. He is just. Oh, he's taking me for a ride, guys. Oh my gosh, he's digging, dude. Holy crap. Come here. Dude, please just don't come off. Oh my gosh, that like honestly that probably that, that like could be my PB Smalley. Like look at this, look at the way he's fighting. Oh my gosh, guys. Please just get up here. Oh my gosh, there he is. Holy crap, guys. That's that is probably that's probably my PB Smalley. I think I just broke my PB. My previous PB Smalley is four pounds on the dot. Holy crap, guys. That's a big. Oh my gosh. That's like long. That's like a dot. That's like a dot. <sighs> what? I don't know, dude. <laughs> Gotta get the scale out, dude. I might have just broke my PB Smalley. Like, oh my it's gosh. Really late, Look at this butterball, guys. He's fat. <laughs> that is a big smallmouth. I mean, that's gonna nice. definitely make a run for its money. My guess is not quite four, but it might be there. Three pounds, six ounces. It like it's definitely bigger than that. Just it looked a little bigger in the water. Look at the size of that butterball right there. That is, regardless if it's not my PB, that is a giant smallmouth right there. Beautiful catch this morning. I did not expect to catch a smallmouth, 
but just the size of this thing is amazing. That's huge. I did not expect to catch this big of a bass today, but fall time is known for big ones. So I guess it's starting to pay off with Danny's 310 in the last video and now a 36 Smalley. That's insane. 37. <laughs> Extra ounce. So we'll take it. 37. <laughs> Okay, it's not as long as my four pound smolly. That's why it's not as big, but it is fatter than it though. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I'm still in shock that I just caught a three six smolly. That's in three seven actually, you know, that, that reweight, that's a word, I don't know. We're gonna let this beautiful thing go. See you later, dude. Thanks for biting. It is turning out to be a pretty good day right now. Let's go. I mean, I do have the wire leader specifically for pike, but maybe we'll get them in the future. But right now I will definitely take a three seven smolly as a nice compliment. Wait, there's a fish. Oh my gosh, that feels like a big one. That feels like a big fish. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. What the heck? That came out of nowhere. I mean, it, I don't think it's that. Oh, is that a pike? It's a pike. I did it, guys. I did it. I, it's not going to break off now. It's got that wire leader. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Look at that thing. I successfully hooked a pike with my wire leader. It was worth going to buy it. He's not going to break off. And if he does, then that's an issue. But he's in the net, he goes. Let's go. Okay, I finally caught a pike on my wire lead. Really? That truck just pooped out something over there. Anyways, it is a baby little pike. That's not a big pike at all, but I'll definitely take it right now. He got a little scar or something like that. I don't know what that's from, but he's really skinny, so he's probably hoping to get a good meal. But instead, he got my spinner bait in his, in his mouth. But it's actually, it's a nice multi-species day. I got a largey, a smallie, and now a pike. Hopefully they can start getting a little bit bigger. Well, besides the smallie, because that was a huge smallie, but a bigger bass and a bigger pike, and it'll be a great day. It's already a great day, but I'm just gonna let him go. See you later, little dude. Let's go. Guys, honestly, it's good to know that fish are still biting my line with the wire leader, because I know sometimes with the wire leader, it can make fish a little bit skeptical, but I caught literally every single species of fish, like, well, not every single species of fish in this lake, but the ones that would actually buy a spinner bait. Come on, there's there's always a fish here. Like I, oh, there he is. I got him, yep, I knew it. It was like, there's always a fish here. And he came off, just like last time. Roll the clip. Oh, wait, there's a fish. Oh my gosh, he came off, that was a little dink. Yeah, that's disappointing, it was just a little bass. There's usually always a tiny bass here. So I was just waiting for him and he bit, but there's usually never more than one, but I could be wrong. So we'll keep chugging a little bit, but. Oh, there's another fish, yep. There's two fish here, no way. This feels like a better one. Oh yeah, he's, oh yeah, that's a, that's a decent one. Unless he's pulling me in the weeds, which that could be it. I think it's a pike. Yeah, that's another pike. Yep, there he is. Oh boy. Oh, he's digging. He's fighting hard. Come here. This wire leader is definitely, oh no, that's not a pike. I don't know why I thought it was a pike. This is a bass. I am, guys, I don't know. I'm just dumb. It's actually a good bass though. <laughs> come here. Hey, come here. Yes, sir. That's not a bad bass, dude. What? That's, woo, let's go. It's probably a good like two pounder, maybe three. I'm going to get a weight just because I'm kind of curious. Again, guys, look at that. The trailer hook got him. So if it wasn't for the trailer hook, I wouldn't have got that fish. That's what we like to see right there. That's a decent largey. All right, guys, that's a, not a bad largey right there. Probably my biggest one like in this fall season. So I'm going to get... Uh, I'm going to get away. English is really tough. That's why I should probably take English next semester in college, but we'll see. Uh, I'd rather take a graphic design class, make better thumbnails for you guys, you know what I'm saying? This is two pounds, 14 ounces, just about what I thought, high twos. Regardless, it is a beautiful looking bass right there. So we will definitely take this guy. One last look at this beautiful bass right here, caught on this freezing cold day. And we're gonna send him on his way. I don't know why I threw him in the kayak. But yeah, guys, it's kind of like raining right now and it's like 40 degrees, so I can't really feel my hands, but you got to do it for the fish. So we'll keep moving along. Hello there. There's a swan in the background. Oh, there's a bite. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why does that feel like a better one? Oh, did he just pop off? No, he's there. He's just running towards me. I don't think that's a good one, though. I don't know. It doesn't feel that good. No, it's just... Oh, that's a pike. That's why. Yep, there he is. Just a little guy. That's a tiny pike. Oh my. I don't think I've ever caught a pike that small. Come here, little dude. In the net. <laughs> you just swam in there, idiot. The wire leader is doing some work today. Getting the job done. We're not breaking off. We're keeping all my spinner baits. Well, I just bought one spinner bait because I was like, no, I'm not going to break out. 
I'm keeping this one spinner bait all day. All right, look at this little slimy guy. I mean, honestly, he's probably the same size as the first one, so not terrible, but definitely, oh, I just touched your eye, sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. This guy came probably about like, one and a half two foot of water right there so he pushed up really shallow so this fall guys fishing shallow definitely does some dirty work because usually this time last year i would catch nothing like i said in previous videos but i'm kind of just proud of myself that i finally found a good pattern and thank you for biting and see you later slimy bugger oh my gosh oh oh dude that's a big pike that's a big pike he swam right up to it but didn't eat it There you go, finally. <laughs> he had a bite. Oh, that's a bike. Don't break, he just came off. <laughs> How does a bike ever jump like that? Dude, he literally soared like a foot in the air. Guys, well, as you guys just saw, I lost a pike that just decided to jump a foot in the air. It's been a struggle out here for me. I, I, the, it's been a struggle out there for me today. Not for Joey, Joey's doing great. He's got five fish. Um, I have one and I lost three, so. But you know what? Day's not over. We still got about an hour left, maybe about 20 minutes, but I'm in It's from broad range. Got an hour, maybe 20 minutes. <laughs> Cut. We got about half an hour left out in the water. So hopefully I can get a fish by then. Time to call it a day. Ooh, all right guys now off the water right here as you can tell and it was a pretty good day out there on the water at least for me i caught five bass no caught five fish two largies that big old smallie and those two little pike right there so it's definitely a successful day and the wire leader paid off i didn't break off on any of those two pikes so that's good to know and i was kind of hoping i would catch a bigger pike so maybe in the near future i'll catch a trophy pike this fall because i think i have about at least like two weeks until it starts to get like way too cold uh fish on like the kayaks and stuff because it'll drop below, below like 25 degrees like nah i'm not fishing the kayak and then it's probably going to start freezing anyway soon so probably have at least two weeks maybe a month left to fish on the kayak so we'll see what we can catch maybe some big old pike maybe a five pounder i don't know we'll see how it goes if you guys did enjoy this one be sure to leave a fat thumbs up and as always stay tuned until next time on bass bros